Big Story Breakdown. There's going to be other aspects to the office audit, looking at how that money was spent. Tonight, we are taking a deep dive into a string of audits into sheriff's offices that found misspent or missing public dollars. Officials say the Cleveland County Sheriff's Office does not have sufficient funds to meet payroll next week. Now, this comes after the county gave the sheriff's office a $1.3 million advance about a month ago. Fox 25's Katie Arada explains how this situation could end up costing taxpayers. Have I ever seen this before? And uh, unequivocally, no. Uh, I, I've never even imagined this. It's incomprehensible to me that uh, a, any office holder can blow past his budget. And the statutes are clear that uh, he's responsible for that and that any office holder can do that and is still, still in a job today. It makes no sense. The Cleveland County Treasurer says that earlier this year, the Cleveland County Sheriff's Office asked for more funds in order to pay some bills. Sheriff Chris Amison claimed he did not receive around $7 million of his $18 million budget. But after an audit, the county found that the Sheriff's Office did in fact receive that money. So the auditors have come back, uh, even we visit with them first thing Monday morning. Um, they do confirm that uh, as of right around the 1st of March that he had received over $18 million. The state auditor's office sent this statement to Fox 25 saying in part the sheriff had funds available from various revenue sources in the amount of $16,780,365. The state auditor noted the total is preliminary and the amounts of money have not been audited yet. Despite that, in order to make payroll for April, the treasurer says the county is being forced to move around existing funds. All while the rift between agencies within the county could end up costing taxpayers even more. Um, there are now attorneys. The counties have hired attorneys. They've allowed Chris to hire attorney. So now the county, the taxpayers are now paying for this uh, to try to get something worked out. If we have deficit spending or something, they would have to, uh, taxpayers, uh, property taxpayers in Cleveland County would be the ones paying the bills. Reporting for Fox 25 News, I'm Katie Arata. We reached out to the Cleveland County Sheriff's Office about the issue today. They sent us a statement saying the funds that the county is moving over tomorrow are funds that were incorrectly allocated to the wrong fiscal year on their part. Goes on to say it's important to know that we met payroll without these funds ever being moved in the first place. When the issue first came to light last month, the Cleveland County Sheriff turned over several boxes full of documentation to the county's budget board. Now those documents included financial reports. The goal was for the board to see where the sheriff's office was spending its money. We asked for current expenditures, current balances, and expended or expected expenditures. And um, I kind of was expecting that to be a, a simple summary sheet. Um, we will have to put together from the box or two boxes that he sent to us um, to add it all up. Just trying to fact find and get the information that we need out of the sheriff's office to um, prepare our, ourselves and uh, be able to approve his, um, his expenditures um, to, at the time that that does happen. The county budget board and county commissioners have two special meetings set for tomorrow afternoon. We're hoping to get more answers about what's going on with the Cleveland County Sheriff's Office and their budget. The Sheriff's Office also told us they'll speak with us after those special meetings. Of course, we will bring you the latest right here on Fox 25. As questions linger over exactly what happened in Cleveland County, we do have insight into what went down in Seminole, Payne, and Haskell counties. Fox 25's Tom Ferguson joins us here in studio with a breakdown of what we've learned in those cases. So, Tom, did any of these three situations share any one thing in common? Well, I mean, Wendy, documents from the state auditor and inspector's office show internal measures or controls could have prevented these issues before they even started. As recently as February, a state audit into the Seminole County Sheriff's Office found about $187,000 in misappropriated funds. According to the auditor's report, office manager Megan Burgess collected that money from December 2016 to November 2022. It was avoidable. It didn't have to be this way. Taxpayers' trust did not have to get... Uh, taken advantage of. The audit also revealed issues with the Seminole County Deputy Fund, a nonprofit the county sheriff's office manages. 
Records show almost $89,000 of the almost $96,000 total the fund collected had no paper trail showing how the money was spent. Whenever an elected official starts a foundation on the side, sometimes the, the lines get blurred, and that's what happened here, and it appears that the sheriff and the undersheriff and another deputy did take advantage of some of these funds. That brings us to January when another state audit reported that Linda Farley, an administrative assistant at the Payne County Sheriff's Office, was responsible for almost 138,000 in misappropriated or questionable expenditures from 2010 to 2021. The administrative assistant used the sheriff's office's credit cards and either submitted altered or fabricated invoices for payment. And she was using those things to buy personal items. She literally purchased a kitchen sink for her house. Then there was the May 2022 audit revolving around Haskell County Sheriff's Office Administrative Assistant and Financial Deputy Monica Ellison. From July 2016 to August 2019, the state auditor says she found that Ellison misappropriated 56 cash bond transactions, totaling more than $25,000. And we'll have the links for each of these audits in full posted on our website, that's okcfox.com. Reporting live, Tom Ferguson, back to you. Thank you, Tom. And Tulsa County also recently had an audit. A report was released earlier this week with the auditor finding numerous deficiencies for fiscal year 2022. So let's break down a few of those findings. The audit shows some records for the county clerk and the county treasurer just didn't match up. It also found some disbursements were made without approval by the Board of County Commissioners, and some didn't have proper documentation. That includes more than $12,000 from the general fund, $41,000 from the highway fund, and more than $2 million from the special project fund. The report also pointed out several issues within the payroll process. After each finding, there's a list of recommendations from the Oklahoma State Auditor and Inspector's Office. And that was your big story breakdown tonight. You can learn more about these county cash concerns on OKCFox.com. And if you missed any part of this big story breakdown, you can find it all on our YouTube channel. Just scan the QR code on your screen or search OKC Fox.